I started this project with the intention of just exploring the uh, textures of the dry glue uh, with some India inks. I'm starting off here with just some 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm using a straight edge to get a really nice deckled edge on my paper. And now I'm just taking some painter's tape and taping off the edges to get a clean border on my piece. I started out with the intention of exploring uh, glue, dry glue as a texture, both on paper and on boards. And on these, uh, once I put the glue on, I let them all dry overnight. Uh, and then I added a coat of India ink and just washed it out with my brush. And now I'm adding a layer of encaustic medium and then fusing it. In the end, these didn't go exactly how I had um, planned it, envisioned it in my head uh, with the glue. So I end up uh, taking a slightly different direction. And uh, that's the wonderful thing about encaustic is that you can kind of turn the corner and take it a new way and uh, keep exploring. And once I made the commitment to add several different layers of uh, encaustic medium to these papers, I know that in the end, if I want to keep them, I'm going to have to mount them to a rigid surface. So most likely I'll end up uh, mounting them to uh, hardboards. And I decided that it wasn't going the direction that I had planned it. I went ahead and started adding uh, some shellac to the uh, papers in really light coats and I'm using the heat gun and not the torch to uh, fuse and get the effect that I want on the shellac. And here I'm just doing some extra shading with pan pastels and I find that they work really well both under and over the encaustic medium. My final step is just adding some more uh, white India ink and going ahead and mixing it with the shellac and I go ahead and do a few layers of that on each piece. Here now I have both texture and also a contrast uh, for color which I feel is more uh, appealing for my composition and so sometimes I just need to take a step back and uh, think of a different direction to take 
the piece in and in this case I think it worked out well. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and have fun uh, and leave any comments below if you try this project. And if you are enjoying watching the Wax on Wednesdays video series, then please like and subscribe to this channel. Happy creating everyone! Thank you.